And welcome back. Imperfect Proposal by Lisa Perry is the inspiration for our first performance by Junior Jared Spear from Minden, Nebraska. Kate, let's get hitched. No, that would never work. Kate, let's face it. You could do a lot worse than me. And <laughs> no, that would never work either. Kate, make me the happiest man in the world. Say you'll marry me? Perfect. The birds, where are they? I'm gonna stop bringing bread if they don't show up. Well, it's no wonder with all the commotion in the park, it's a dangerous place for a bird. That is ridiculous. Birds can fly away at any moment. Must be nice. You've got lice? No, William, it must be nice to be able to get away from anyone at any time. I could only dream of that. You think you're the only one who wants to get away? You better watch it, mister, or I'll hide your Metamucil again. Ben is about to take the plunge. He's about to propose to his beautiful bride-to-be, Kate. It's a romantic moment. Or at least it should be. Unfortunately for Ben, nobody in the park really cares about his big moment. Under the close supervision of William and Ella, an elderly couple on a nearby park bench, Ben will give Kate the most... Imperfect Proposal by Lisa Perry. Guess who? Oh, Kate, I'm so glad you could meet me here. It makes me wonder what you're up to. Well, actually, there is a reason I asked you here, you see. I know we've only known each other for a short while, but I love you, and I know you love me, too. There's something I wanted to... Whoa! Hey, how was I supposed to catch that pass? There's people standing here. Hey, brah, football game going on? Move. Um, actually, we were here first, so maybe you jerks should find somewhere else to play. Whoa, hottie. You're pretty cute when you're angry. Do not call me hottie! Tell him, Ben! Ben! Wow, got yourself a real man there. Catch you later, hot stuff. You really wimped out on me there, Ben. You see that, Ella? Poor guy wussed out on his woman. It's a shame. I don't ever remember you standing up for me, William. I never had to. Your right hook took care of that one. You really wimped out on me there, Ben. I'm sorry, Kate, I'm just, I'm just not a confrontational person. We don't have to talk about this now, do we? Where was I? Kate, I love you. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, I'm absolutely sick and in desperate need of your help. Anyway, I was in this part of the park early with my friend. She had this ring that she had given me from her aunt. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I got this ring. Bad idea, now I, I know that now. Anyway, so I get home and I realize I don't have the ring anymore. I was like, oh my gosh, I wonder if I left that ring. And then I realized I bet I left it on that bench that I was out with my friend. And so I came back to this part of the park and I looked over the bench, around the bench, and around the bench, and I just could not find my ring anywhere. I was wondering if you'd seen it. Um, no, <laughs> but we were kind of in the middle of something, so maybe you could give us your cell phone number or email address, and uh, if we find your ring, we'll let you know. Oh my gosh, you were so smart, I never would thought of anything like that. Anyway, so my name is Stacy, you can call me that, I don't really care, all right, so here's my Facebook page, my email address, my phone number, you can call me, text me, chat me up, you find my ring, you want to chat, I don't really care, all right, toodles! Wow. Oh my god, Ella! I think that last woman just gave me diabetes. For once, William, I don't think I'm gonna argue with you. More distractions, I'm sorry, Kate. Where was I? Oh yes, Kate, oh Ben, look, a puppy. Oh, he's so adorable, oh, isn't he wonderful? Yeah, great. Oh, he's so cute, oh, what's his name? His name is Shasta. Oh, Shasta, oh, you're so adorable. Oh, what type of dog is he? He is a Tibetan terrier. He has fluffy white fur. And he is absolutely precious! Oh, he's so cute. Oh, Ben, isn't he wonderful? Yeah. Wonderful. Ben, pet the dog. I don't want to touch the puppy. You don't like dogs? Well, excuse me, Shasta. Come on, we are leaving. I can tell when we are in the presence of a soulless hater of all that is cute. Let's go. <laughs> ben, you don't like dogs? It's not that I don't like them, I just... You hear that, Ella? Now he doesn't like dogs. But he doesn't like kids, either. That's ridiculous, William. I loved our kids, but hated that old coonhound you kept around. You hated Jake? You'll bet. He stank, he barked, he pooped. What's not to hate? You stink, you bark, and you poop, but I keep you around. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know, Ben. I, I guess I just never knew you hated dogs. Hate is such a... 
appropriate word. What about what he said? How do you feel about kids? I don't know, Kate. Part of me likes the idea of a little person made by me and you, but the expense, the time, the mess, the worry. Kate! Kate Barrett, is that you? Oh, Andrew, I haven't seen you in so long. I know, Kate. I know. You look great. Ahem. Oh, Andrew, you haven't changed one bit. I know, Katie Cat, I know. We sure had some good times, didn't we? Like that night up at my cabin. Um, excuse me, Kate. Maybe you could introduce me to your friend here. Oh, yes, um, Ben, this is Andrew, a friend from college. Andrew, this is Ben, my, my boyfriend. Boyfriend, you lucky guy, you. So, Butch, what do you do for a living? Ow! It's Ben, actually. I'm currently looking for work as a choreographer. <laughs> Choreography? You're kidding me, Kate. You left me, a rich and successful engineer, for this male ballerina. <laughs> well, Andrew, I'm sure you have somewhere to be, so uh, I hope we run into each other again soon. Me too, Katie Cat. Me too. Catch you later, Brent. Ow! It's Ben! Brent. Ben. Bridget. Like I care. How come you never told me about him, Kate? You hear that, Ella? Now he's jealous about an old boyfriend. Not you two again. I don't think anybody asked us, William. I don't, get if any, I don't give a hoot if anyone asks me. Now, if you ask me, he lacks self-confidence. Back in my day, I was a man with a plan. You were a garbage man, William. Excuse me, a sanitary and specialist if you don't mind. Least I wasn't like you. Least I didn't sit around on my big rear end all day. Sit around on my big rear end? I gave birth to your four children. Fed them, clothed them, and bathed them. Least I had a reason for my big rear end. Jeremy, Parker, Alex, and Trevor. Ben, this day has been just awful. Maybe we should go home. Yeah, maybe you're right. Um, excuse me, can I ask you a question? Sure, what? Do these jeans... Okay, so... Do these jeans... Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Do these jeans make my butt look big? Are you asking him about your rear end? Well, yeah, I mean, I bought these jeans last week and I just haven't been able to wear them yet because I'm scared to make my rear end look well. Fat. And you're asking him? I'll tell you if your rear end looks big. It does! Kate. Calm down. Well, she asked. In fact, why don't you get yourself a wide load sign? Geez, Kate, calm down. You know what, from here I'd say it looks pretty good. Ben! You know what? Really good. In fact, mighty fine. Ben, you are unbelievable. I don't know. Maybe if I stood next to your girlfriend. Could you compare? Are you kidding me? Geez, I was just looking for an honest opinion, sorry. Ben, you're an insensitive creep. Well. If that's really what you think about me, I, I think you're saying some pretty important things here. Look, Ben, I know you brought me here to propose, but I think we've learned some pretty important things about each other. Yeah, like, like I learned that you're insecure and have an ex-boyfriend in the closet. Yeah, well, well, I learned that you're too much of a coward to stand up to high school football boys, you ate kids and dogs, and you check out another girl's rear end right in front of me. You're right. I'm a heartless coward. But Ben, I love you. I love you too, Kate. I'm just gonna say it. Kate, will you, um, excuse me, excuse me. I'm sorry, but, um, my sister, Buff, took care of it all over me, and, um, I was wondering if you could help me find my pet iguana. Are you kidding me? I don't care if your sister barfed her carrots all over you, and I could care less about your freaking pet iguana! Um, so, so, sorry? Ben, calm down. Just let me do it. Ben, will you marry me? Kate, I... Yes. Well, would you look at that, Ella? That is just... pathetic. It just goes to show you, William, if you want something done right, leave it to a woman. One of these days, Ella, one of these days! And here's the head speech coach of Minden High School, Jared's head coach, also the guidance counselor at Minden, 13 years 
a speech coach. And uh, Jeffrey Horner, Jared just did 11 different characters in that performance. Is that pretty ambitious or is that pretty customary? Pretty customary for Jared. That's something he likes to do to tackle a big script like that. You're, you got to be committed to be the coach. Tell us about the number of hours every week you put in four months a year to get this team ready. Um, we practice usually right after school about 3.30 until 9 o'clock most until days. 9 o'clock. You're from 3.30 to 9. With a little supper break. <laughs> you allow yourself a little bit of supper. Yeah. The kids, do they stay the whole time or just the no. coaches? Coaches stay there throughout the whole time, but the kids come in when they need to practice and then they work on it on their own outside of their practice times. Jeffrey Horner, the head speech coach at Minden. Assistant coach is Tanya Fisk with that kind of hourly devotion. We want to be sure to mention her. Jared, come on in here. Eleven different characters in that speech. And that's normal for you. <laughs> pretty, pretty typical. Back-to-back -back state championships in the humorous competition. You got to have an encore next year. You think about <laughs> 15 different characters next year, 16? I don't know. That, that may be pushing a little bit. No, How many I can do. Uh, are you? Do you think this is a promising union, Kate and Ben? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You think they're gonna stick I, together? I think they're meant to be. Okay. For sure. <laughs> now, how long did it take you to figure out that that was a speech that you wanted to use? Um, well, we started out and actually got pretty involved with a different script early in December before the first meet, and then kind of threw it out. We were like, this isn't working. We ended up taking that script, what, like two days before? We took that script two days before our first meet, took it to the first meet. Didn't do so well, but... <laughs> So we kind of stumbled upon it after we'd actually started the season. Jared Spear, two humorous titles. You also won it for uh, duet, act, duet acting as a freshman, three state championships. Jeffrey Horner, congratulations as well.